I'm going with the old school, classic American work animal. I'm taking a mule. There you go. <laughs> yep. Okay. So you're going to have a mule going through your naked roll, naked, naked mole hole. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yes. That's right. A mule through your naked, naked mole, mole hole. <laughs> Wild times. Yes. In person, baby. Feels good. Are you the host? Can you host this? Arf, arf. <laughs> Charlie's Woo! here. Here we go. It is the Wild Times. I don't know what episode. Hundred and something. One hundred and five. One hundred and five. Episode yeah. one hundred and five. And we're here. Damn. And I am your host, the broologist. Joining me is the professor, PhD in podcasting. What's my What's my actual name? Do you even know it? Repeater. <laughs> Repeater. <laughs> Repeater over here. Uh, yeah, I'm doing good. Happy to be here. We got a studio rolling. And uh, it's always fun to see you gents in person, even though it's fucking 8 a.m. But I'll be drinking soon enough. <laughs> good. And uh, in addition to that moody good morning, <laughs> we have the one and only, the producer himself. What's going on, hey, man? Good to see you. Your name uh, is Pat. It is Patrick. Okay. I, uh, no one's called me Pat since I was 15, but <laughs> I call him Pat uh, every time I talk to him. Good to see you. I have not seen you with the beard in person. It's a lot, huh? It's a presence. It's a unto lot. Unto itself, yeah. I've been, I've been discussing this with Jess, and I'm like, do I keep it? Because I actually like it. And here's why I like it. The unkemptness of it makes me intimidating. You don't want to fight a guy that's crazy enough to look like By this. the way, this is what I was going to ask. Is do, do, you, do you feel different? I feel more primal. <laughs> yeah. More powerful. Yeah. yeah. It yeah. really changes the way you feel, right? It, like 100% you can kind of feel shitty about yourself and it's because you just let your hair get weird. Yeah. And then you get a haircut and you're like, I feel like a, I'm a stud. I feel great. <laughs> I look great. Yeah. Yeah. This is sort of like the polar opposite of that where I look so bad that I feel awesome. Yeah. It's oh, just like yeah. you're, you're, you're primal. Like you said, I mean, I get that. I, I, I get that when I whenever I let it go, but my beard looks absolutely ridiculous. Here's the thing, though, and, and I, I will vouch that this is the case for everybody. You're right. It does. So does yours. So does mine <laughs> to a point. Yeah. And then it grows past that yeah. where you're like, oh, wait a minute. Like now you look like what a man is actually supposed to look like. <laughs> like if we didn't have wall fancy trimmers, this is what a man's supposed to look like. Look at this. I haven't trimmed the neck. Look at the neck fuzz yeah. I got. Well, it's, it's all connecting. It's, it's all, all it's all becoming like, it's one. It's like a werewolf of, of thing going <laughs> yeah. on back here. It's just yeah. one big hairy mess. Yep. And I like it. I but, think what you should do, and this is the end of the beard talk. <laughs> it's but not. This is a beard pot. <laughs> go get, clip all the hair up. Clip up here, military cut. Wow. Yeah. A big beard military really? cut. Really? Yeah. And well, I mean, I thought about it. I'm yeah, not it's, a, I did. it's a good look. It yeah. makes you, uh, you, you think you feel primal and tough right now? Shave your head. And start wearing like kind of like olive green t-shirts. <laughs> Just fitted olive You'll green. You'll feel like a badass. Yeah, maybe a little bit baggy camo pants once Dude, in a while. It's funny, like when we were like on days where we were like gonna do something pretty gnarly, you know, in the field filming the show. Yeah. You know, you kind of wear like more techy stuff than you of know course. the nerdy than tight jeans that we're, right we're now. wearing yeah. right now. And like you know, I always would let my beard grow out, and you're kind of dirty, and you haven't showered. And uh, some days, like, I'd be ready to go take that last look in the mirror, and I would start fantasizing that I was, like, actually a tough guy doing, like, a military operation, <laughs> and it would get me, like, revved up yeah. for, for the day. The mind like, is oh. a powerful instrument, man. It can make you believe that you are uh, a lot tougher than you are, Pat. Oh, Trick. I know. I know. I, I don't claim to be a tough guy, man. <clears throat> I don't know. I'm a city dweller. I think he claims to be a tough guy sometimes. It's an exterior that he has. It's just an interior that is... I mean, he, this guy's yeah. as hard as a marshmallow. Right. He's yeah. just... He's, exactly. He's all bristle on the outside, yeah. but just a soft, sticky just a middle. Just softy. Right. Well, well, we made it to 105. Congrats, guys. 105 what weeks. It's man. a lot. 105 hours. It's a lot. <clears throat> Crazy. More than 105 hours. Do you hours. have a cold? You should have told us this before we came Again, over. it's should've. the morning... Uh, it's yeah. morning throat. Okay, you don't have morning throat. You don't get. You don't just. It's not. I, awful I wake up ready to go, man. Yeah, every day. don't. You said you're never ready until you get that shower. <laughs> I, I rock it out of bed. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is an animal pod, animal and wildlife pod. It is not a beard talk pod. Wild times. But, but yeah. Peter, Charlie has reminded me of something. I have to ask a favor of you. No. You don't even know what it is yet. <laughs> I know I don't, but I, I don't like the grin smugness on well, your face it, it, already. I, I do feel good about this. Can Charlie, can I just borrow Charlie? Yeah. If he, I mean, he'll bite you, but yeah. No, no, I don't want to touch him. Uh, 
<laughs> you ha- okay? Here's my favorite. Here's my favorite. You you have to blindly agree to do this before I explain what it is. I mean, that's why why on earth would I ever? <laughs> Peter's never taken an improv class. <laughs> He's really bad at this. <laughs> I will pay you monies to bring Charlie to San Diego in three weeks. Your thoughts? No. What? What's wrong okay. with San Diego? It's this a lovely little trip down the coast. Nice. I'll give you a hotel room. Nice okay. one. Fine. Sheraton. All right. Let's let's pretend I'll do it. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. So Kyle and I have this thing coming up. There's this guy, Gabriel Fatosa. Kyle, pull up Gabe in a sec here. Gabe and I have become friends recently, and we've partnered up with the Humane Society in San Diego, and we're going to make over a bunch of dogs. And Interesting. I know how ridiculous this So these are like sounds. rescue dogs, and you're going to give them a makeover yes, to get attention? Yes, but the thing is, hold on, Kyle, go to the videos I texted you, not this nonsense. I texted you the best ones. Here you go. Look at this. Get some sound on here. Look at this. Hold on, hold on. Kyle's blowing it. Hold on. Kyle, pause that. You're blowing it. You're blowing it. <laughs> that is amazing. Look at that. That's pretty good. Tell me Charlie is not so cut out for this with his crazy wiry hair and whatever's going on. Why'd you make this sound so bad? This I isn't didn't. bad. I was trying to get you excited Wait, very about something before explaining it. Can very you get this guy Gabriel to, to give Charlie a free uh, yes, giraffe job? that's why I'm offering. I will make Charlie into... Go, go to the zebra one I texted you. Look at this one. <laughs> this is the happiest dog I've ever seen. Can you turn the volume up, Kyle? <laughs> the face. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Yeah, so this dude. guy Gabe is a nice guy in the world. We're doing this thing with the Humane Society, and we're filming, and then we're looking for some other dogs outside of the Humane Society. This is my favorite one, by the way. I would love to have you come down with Charlie and get Charlie turned into... Look at this. Look at these ones. They look badass. Ooh, How cool is this? Is that a wow. hyena, the other one? It's a tiger and a leopard. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'll agree to this. Charlie, right? what do you think? You in? And Charlie's really? perfect. He's got the crazy hair, the crazy eyes. Yeah. Dude. Like, he would be a good hyena, spotted oh hyena. God. He looks like a fucking hyena. I know, with that ridge of hair that if I touch it, it'll bite me. Thylacine. Just like a hyena. Thylacine. Oh. Gabe's never done a thylacine because I That's asked. Brilliant. My dog is black and white, so it doesn't work. Charlie could be the most fantastic, rabid thylacine. And then, and then, Peter, Yeah. part two of this. Oh are you no. ready to blindly this, agree yet or not? This is the part that I'm not going to like. Well, are you ready to blindly agree or not? Uh, fine. Okay. Yes. Then we fly to Tasmania and let Charlie <laughs> run around the streets in front of Neil Waters' house. Ooh. And uh, I'm and, in. And don't say anything. We just do that for like a week and then fly home. Okay, Dude. I'm in. <laughs> Let's if, do it. If Neil had been smarter about, you know, the the whole thing, he would have just gotten a dog that looks like Charlie. <laughs> yeah. Contacted Gabe. Yep. Flown him out. Stick him in front of a trail cam with no scale. That's it. Yep. Baby thylacine. Done. Baby thylacine. Yeah. Baby yep. thylacine. Yep. Dude, I would pay I would pay money to see Charlie as a baby thylacine. Wouldn't you though? I'm taking donations, yeah. Yeah. So I'll, anyway, you just draw, I'll pay for your gas to San Diego. And that's like a lot it's of like money. 150 end, bucks. end of November, Charlie. I'm not even joking. If you I'm wanna in, bring man, Charlie I'm down in. for a makeover. I agree. Yeah. I agree. That's a fun project. So is the thought just that it'll just get attention for Humane Society? Correct. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, so doing Gabe a good does thing. this professionally. He does it for a whole variety of clients. Okay. He's a super, super cool guy. And we are filming it. You know, it's like yeah, a, yeah. we're making an event out of it. We're getting local San Diego press and news involved. We're working with the Humane Society. The idea Sweet. is to do this holiday party, make over a bunch of dogs. Dude, if my kid walked into the Humane Society and there was a pit bull trying to rip his face off... <laughs> But it was done up like a green T-Rex with yellow back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, You'd be like, yeah. Dad, we're taking it home. Right. There's yeah. no way I could leave there right. without the rabid maniac T-Rex dog. No, that's There's no brilliant. way. So that is the goal here. Are you, uh, are you bringing your pup? Is he going to do it? No, well, that's the problem. He, he's black and white, and black doesn't really work oh, with right. this. So, Just, well, you know, we could do so. So go back to his main page for yeah, a second, what, what Kyle. If you're black? listening to this, come and watch our YouTube or just check out Gabe on TikTok or whatever. So he does have some... Like, go to the Monsters, Inc. dog. Over, or, no, the panda's adorable. Oh, go to Baby nice. Panda, bottom panda. right. Yeah. So he can do some stuff with black and white dogs, but it doesn't come <laughs> out as well. Look at this. Tell me that's not a real Baby Panda right there. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> that Dude. is insane. How good is that? Look at that. Holy thing. shit. Oh, that is amazing. My Lord. Is this not the coolest thing you've ever seen? Dude, this seen? guy's incredible. Really is. Incredible. Dude, you will can spend hours. Can we get hours. him on the podcast? I yeah. would love to. And Dude. he's super personable. You can spend hours watching his videos. That Absolutely. is an actual panda fact. There's a, yeah, I know, that's right? camera he tricks. It. He swapped the dog with a real panda. <laughs> There's a yellow Pokemon, too. We don't need to spend too much time. But I don't know if you see it, Kyle. If you just scroll down. 
He does a, a Pikachu that is, again, it is an actual <laughs> Pikachu. Um, keep going. Look at some of these things. I know. Man. Like They're all insane. of them are incredible. Well, even as he's scrolling. Is your dog more black or white or about 50 50? No, he's like 80% black with a couple so white what's patches. So, what's an animal there that, is. Is, that is Look at this. mostly black? Look at this. <laughs> Look at that. That Actually, is a Pokemon. That is wild, dude. <laughs> That could be Charlie, but you tripping. What, uh, I'm, tripping. Wait. I, I'm in. I'm in. What's, a, a, what's an animal that's mostly black that has some detail that, that you could do for hooves? I'd have to really think about what, it. What I don't. I haven't. It's black a good question. Jaguar? Where? What's the? Uh, you would just dye them all black. You could go all black. So Gabe With told me because we, we had a jo- we were chatting about this, and he's like, they do make a bleach. So basically, I could bleach some of Hoover's black white. And uh, then painted another color, but he's like, it's just a huge process versus right. like any dog Charlie's color that's right. like, you know, I just paint him up. Um, he's never been. I mean, he's just like they're talking about me. I'm feeling real good. He's just laying there. He's like, <laughs> just nobody bite. ever talks. He's about literally me. biting his time until he bites someone aggressively. <laughs> he's like, I haven't been addressed in four months. <laughs> I've just been sitting here. I, this is great. I think for the 105th podcast, we should break the format a little bit and do okay. something a little different. Okay. Sure. Shirts sure, off. Let's go. Yep. Yeah. God no. no pants. Pants. <laughs> pants. <laughs> I think we I'll should do shoot. a battle royale right up top. Whoa. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Woo, That's because you have one chamber. crazy in here. I just think, you know, here's what happens. It's hard to talk for an hour and, and be interesting, right? It's mentally exhausting. We always do the battle royale at the end. It's true. We're yeah. out of good ideas. When you're okay. trained. Right? Yep. So let's try it in the middle. Great. No computers today either, so it has to be off. The no Google. Oh, I'm screwed. No, th- and by the way, yeah. I'm going to throw a wrinkle and it's going to make it a lot harder. Oh, come oh, on. Oh, here we go. All right. Oh, Battle oh, Royale. What? Battle Royale. Right. Do, 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 do. Here, here, this is going to be the hardest one we've ever done. Oh, my God. So you've seen heist movies, right? Where, where the crew, like the movie Heat, they have a crew. They're yep. a tight crew. They go and rob banks. Yep. Yes. The town. I the just Italian watched Italian job. Haven't seen it. Is that good? Really? Fantastic. Dude, Ocean's Eleven. I just rewatched the movie The Town, the Ben Affleck, Jeremy Renner movie. I haven't seen it in years. Remember it being really good. Yeah, I watched it on the plane. So good. Yeah. So good. And Ben Affleck, like, no one's face is asking to be punched more than his. <laughs> it's, it's the Johnny Harrington of faces. Yeah, yeah. It really When is. you look at Johnny, you're like, oh, man, I just want to sock you Project so Project 1Z, Lazy. Johnny yeah, Harrington. Guy? Yeah. Yeah. But, Nicest guy, but boy, just man, like Ben Affleck. Affleck, really great director, great actor. Yeah. All right. Sorry. So you're putting a crew together, snake okay. draft. Okay. Yep. Snake yep. draft. Okay. It's you and three others. Yep. You get three extremely well trained animals that are going to help you pull off a bank heist. Wow. Okay. All right. All right. Yep. But, but no primates allowed. Okay. Wow. No primates allowed. Okay. I like that. Because I feel like that's going to be the low-hanging fruit. We're all just going to want some sort of monkey to do yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I was already thinking monkey Gorilla with Gorilla overpower Uzi. the guard. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uzi monkey. So what I want you to do is <laughs> tell us, tell me who's in your crew and what their job's going to be, how it's going to help you. It yep. can't just be because they're cute. Yep. Or okay. scary. Okay. Okay. Forrest, I think you should go first. With pleasure. Uh, so there's a couple ways to rob a bank done my research. If you do what I'm about to do, I'm, I'm going smash to smash this over Charlie's <laughs> head. So cute. No, no, I'm going to leave. I will leave. I'm going back to how ho- uh, I'm hoping that's how this goes. Me too. There's a couple ways to rob a bank. The best way, the Ocean's Eleven's way, right? Mm. The clever way, the way where right. you're, you're sneaking in, you're sneaking out. Nobody's finding out what's happening. You're not, you're not putting guns up. You're not blowing stuff up. Right. You're not smashing through the bank vault. Okay. Yep. So Pick number one, very simple, common house hamster. <laughs> laugh okay. all you like. I'm not laughing because I'm waiting for your logic. Then I'm going to laugh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever, have you, did you, any of you, Kyle, you included, anybody have a hamster as a kid? A gerbil that got lost in the house and never found. You just proved my point. <laughs> they are oh. the most immaculate escape artists. <laughs> you could put a common house hamster in the most secure bank in the world, and I guarantee you with 100% certainty, it will get out. <laughs> I see. So this is an inside job. Oh, so I'll get to my others and my snake draft. Okay, this is okay. an inside yeah, job. I will fully understand your, the plot it's of your heist. Picture. Yeah, this Got is it. big. 
Okay. Common House Hamster, okay. voice by Kevin Hart. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. So uh, I'm picking for my. It's always good when he laughs at his idea <laughs> before explaining <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. My first, my first pick is uh, going to be pretty, pretty standard, and uh, I want to take it off the table early. I'm going with a uh, fastest, one of the fastest animals in the world, possibly the fastest. I'm going with a cheetah, and the reason is is that, uh, you know, it's going to be chaotic. My method is not going to be, there's going to be no gerbil sneaking. It's going to be chaotic. <laughs> and the uh, my cheetah will have lots of the money strapped to it as it books it. Got it. Uh, you know, and that's, that's it how, so how far. How much weight could a cheetah carry and still run fast, do you think? 12 pounds, maybe. Okay. So a few, few hundred bucks. How much does cash weigh? Huh? You'll you make off with a bill. couple thousand. Yeah. You might be able to pay your electric bill. <laughs> <laughs> so, Kel, for running your ceilings AC, AC. 24 7. No, we don't understand do you your plan yet. I'm sorry. <laughs> there was a my favorite bank heist, real bank heist that's been pulled that I've read about is a guy. He did like four or five of these. Nobody knows where he is, never got caught. They know who he is. Oh, interesting. But he, he pulled off, I think, at the time, and like maybe 10 years ago, it was the biggest bank heist in history in Argentina. And he had the same MO. He always tunneled into the bank oh. underneath mm -hmm. the vault. Mm -hmm. so the one in Argentina, if you're interested, you should read about it. He tunneled underneath like a six lane highway. Oh, you're kidding. Like did it for years. And he, he basically had a florist shop. No way. On the other side. And they were using that to, to build the tunnel. just tapped in, looted everything and was gone <laughs> by morning. Gone by morning. Oh. Went in on the weekend, got into the vault. I'm tunneling into so a vault. Sexy. Bank robbing so sexy. How cool are you, <laughs> man? So cool. Just rob a bank. Dude, Just imagine the high fives. Yeah. Like when you're done. Yeah. You're on the plane. You got the bags, the bags yeah. of money. Dude, you're on the plane. You're moving to Costa Rica. <laughs> yeah. Just yeah. 60 million in cash. It's so cool. I'm tunneling in. All right. I'm going to take a naked mole rat. Very nice. <laughs> yeah. Very nice. I, it's going to take a while. Can they tunnel Clearly. through concrete? I don't know. You've seen those teeth, boy. Yeah. Okay. Well, they, have, they have nothing moving. but superpowers. They are Marvel <laughs> yeah. characters. All right. Oh, okay. I'm up for two. Yep. Well, that was really the only thing I had. <laughs> but, but no, we're because obviously we're going straight into the vault. I, I want to take as few trips sure. up and down the tunnel as sure. possible. Sure. Okay. I need something that can carry a tremendous amount of weight. Okay. But I don't want it to be too big because... It's a naked mole rat making yeah, the tunnel. It's indeed. Gonna, it can't be a About huge four inches tunnel. in diameter. <laughs> <laughs> you, can just you can roll up a single bill and push it through at a time. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's going to be big enough for me. I'm going to be in there. So I'm a, I want something that's small, that can get through my smallish tunnel, that can carry How about your wiener? <laughs> Oh, I said no primates. He's on one today. Yeah. Peter, this is an X joke. At eight in the morning, <laughs> you can Peter. tell he hasn't slept. <laughs> um, all right. Small animal, low profile, carry a lot, a lot, a lot of weight. I'm going with the old school, classic American work animal. I'm taking a mule. There you go. <laughs> okay. Yep. So you're going to have a mule going through your naked roll, naked, naked mole hole. <laughs> that's right. Yes. That's right. A mule for your naked, naked mole. mole hole. <laughs> okay. Dude, that should be a new T, man. <laughs> yeah. A naked, naked mole, mole naked popping mole out hole. of a hole, and it's called <laughs> it just says naked mole. It's got hole. like, and then there's a mule with money behind him. Dude, I could see that being Nothing. like a cool like crop top for like sexy ladies, and it says I'm a naked moho. <laughs> <laughs> for sexy ladies. <laughs> yeah, like they're like, yeah, I love animals, but I'm also like showing off that I'm ready to party. And like relatively loose with my morals. Like, <laughs> yeah. I, I don't make that judgment. I think so. it'd be better as like a guy's <laughs> pair of tidy whities to have the mole peeking out. <laughs> on the back, on the naked back. mole. <laughs> yeah, Just exactly. like little turtle heads. By the way, if you can get those out before, like by like December 5th, it'll be the biggest <laughs> gag gift of 2022. I love it. All right, so I got a, I got a mole rat and a mule. Okay, so... Uh, Forrest, you're up? Nope. Nope. That's not how it's ever oh, worked. Okay. I'm and up. it never will work that way. <laughs> all right. I get confused <laughs> when there's three people and not four. Um, all right. It's also because we're just doing this. <laughs> it's so simple. <laughs> it's early. Okay. So my second pick is it's going to be chaotic. Like I told you, we're not, we're not sneaking in. And uh, that is going to be initiated. The chaos is going to be initiated by my big, fluffy, Sheep 
that is loaded Sheep. with C4 and other explosives. <laughs> Cal, uh, you should be pulling these up. You gotta, you gotta look up C4 <laughs> sheep. You you look wait, up are you sacrificing sheep. your sheep? The oh, artist's yeah. rendering. Yeah. As long as you salvage all the meat and for mutton chops yeah. later, then I'm okay with it. Yeah, the meat will be on top of the five-story building. That was sort of a joke. Uh, we need to use AI art for this. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I so like it. yeah, he's gonna, you know, he's gonna go in there. He's gonna set the tone for the robbery. Chaos and, uh, ensues. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. I got this one in the bag. All right. Uh, number one, I got a hamster. Can escape from anything. Can Tiny. open anything. Can get out of anything. Not sure how it's gonna help. Yeah. Could probably fit in Pat's mole. Stand hole. by. Stand by. It's genius. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Animal number two, Pacific giant. No, not that big. Two spot <laughs> octopus. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Is there an aquarium? Is the nope. bank located nope. in an aquarium? Nope. It's not. Is it in the ocean? Nope. It's a okay. normal bank. They can spend like two hours out of the water. No problem. <laughs> okay. okay. Let me explain. It's a normal bank. <laughs> Stand by. And here's why. Because my third animal, because that's how the snake draft works, and then I can put it all together, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. is your standard German shepherd. Okay. I can't wait to hear the plot of this film. It's yes. so simple, and it's so good and so genius. Go for okay. it. The German Shepherd is employed by the bank as a sniffer dog to look for explosives, and it's a guard dog. It belongs to the security agent. However, he's well job. However, he's well trained and obeys me and me alone. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. On this Saturday night, the hamster <laughs> is brought to the dog. Okay. <laughs> he's put onto the dog's back. On top <laughs> of the dog goes, and on top of the hamster, uh -huh. goes the two-spot octopus okay. that perfectly camouflages and blends in, okay. covering okay. the hamster, which is now <laughs> suctioned to the belly mm -hmm. of, the, of the German shepherd. Okay. So it's okay. like a, an invisibility suit, It's an invisibility cloak. Okay. Got Morning comes around, Got it. vault gets opened, hamst uh, dog walks in to do his rounds and is sniffing, hamster leaps out from underneath the octopus, gets locked in, no problems, because later that night... Our escaping hamster figures out how to open the vault <laughs> by communicating with the well-trained octopus who's on the outside. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Door is opened. I go walking octopus in the bank. Octopus also has the tentacles. Can get a I, I could see the octopus spinning the Correct. thing yeah, very for sure. easily. And, sure. and the hamster knows this how to do feasible. it from the inside. Door gets opened. I walk right in, help myself to all yep. the cash I would like, okay. close it all up. Off we go. Yep. Off I like go. it a lot. Uh, so just to be clear, the octopus has been waiting till nightfall. But won't it die after two hours? Do I could do it pre-dawn. Okay. Well, and he's going to salvage it and have calamari. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And, and and the and my signature bank robbery when I leave, my insignia that's left behind is a dead octopus on the right. floor. Of the bank, <laughs> right. Which they're like, like, oh my god, it's the octopus robber. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Like that's as smart as Marv, the wet bandits from Home Alone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, my turn again. Mm-hmm. All right, so my final animal, we need, we need some air support here. Like I said, this is going to be chaos. Um, so we need, some, we, need, we need an animal that is, is quick, can go and grab, and strong, uh, and flies. It's going to be a peregrine falcon. It's going to come down. It always is. It's going to come down. <laughs> yeah. It's going to grab just a giant sack of money. I'm going to have, I'm going to have the cheetah running with money. But really, those are just distractions while I get away. With what, the van, what does a peregrine falcon typically eat for us? What kind of animal? Cash, like, money. Uh, a lot of pigeons. They're big on street pigeons, street and pigeons, mice, rodents. Mice. So stuff yeah. that weighs only a pound or two. Correct. Yeah, but okay. what can it eat? This is gonna. This bank robbery. I you hope have a mole. A I mole. hope your exploding sheep <laughs> causes a distraction that lasts about five and a half years, because that's how long. Sorry, it's gonna so take. I'm no, still no. I, to I told you the whole. Yeah. But, but I'm involved too, so I'm gonna have the van with all the money while everybody's focusing on the cheetah with the cash trapped to its back. I mean, the cheetah and will the, be a good and distraction. And the falcon just Extremely. like what, with a big thing of cash. Just, just remind me how the yeah. falcon contributed to the scenario. It, it's just bag of cash. Big bag of cash, heavy, as yeah. much as it can carry. And then it's flying around above, so everybody's yeah. looking at it. And mm. then I'm I'm off in, in, you know, just a very standard Toyota So literally Corolla. the humans in this scenario are just turkeys, and they're just like staring in the sky with their jaws open. <laughs> well, you have an <laughs> octopus. You, you have an you octopus that just is, robbed the bank. <laughs> you, you have an octopus that is creating an invisibility cloak around your German shepherd and your hamster. <laughs> no, no, no. A German shepherd can walk right in. He's His just, inside man, German <laughs> shepherd. Inside man. Well, mine is way more feasible. Mine's, <laughs> mine's luck. This is, okay. My last animal is, so I've got my tunneler. I've got my, you know, grunt who's going to carry everything for mm -hmm. me and my, my, yep. my mule. Yep. Yep. 
What I need is someone on the inside who it can be, because I don't want anyone on my crew to get caught. Right. You understand? So you don't want the mole or the... Yeah, I don't want anyone on the crew. I want all lover. four of us living out our days. Okay. Owning a, a tiki bar. Right. So you're <laughs> going to split the money evenly with the animals? No. Oh. No, they'll work for food <laughs> and, and water. Um, but I need some security inside just in case anything gets gets weird. Sure. Uh, sure. Maybe there is an armed guard that works on weekends that I didn't know about because mm -hmm. you guys know me. I'm not going to plan yeah, that you much. You're not. You're going to uh, wing it. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be pretty loosey. Yeah. 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 Um, so I need security on the inside. Something that's just ferocious that can get on you quick. Okay. Right. If that security guard comes out with his sidearm, yep. it can get on him in a second. And I am obsessed with this video of a wild boar charging a man <laughs> on the beach. <laughs> I haven't seen this. Dude, it is, I don't even, it's, what are those crazy ones in Africa? Warthogs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, uh, so I'm going to take a warthog. Yeah. I saw this video, man, and this guy's just looking at this warthog. It's like down by the ocean. I don't know what the fuck it's doing down okay. there. <laughs> And the guy's looking at it, and it turns and looks at him. It is on him in one second. Yeah. I have never seen a zero to 60 <laughs> like this warthog. The guy has no fucking clue what to do. Yeah, would you? I mean, that's true. No. Okay. So my full scenario is we're in the Cayman Islands, right? Everyone puts their money in the Cayman Islands. Of course, you're robbing a bank in the Caymans. It's going to take, this is going to take like two and a half years. It's a big play. Because yeah. the, the mole rat is so small. Yeah. He's <laughs> digging from <laughs> the United States. so much digging. Yeah. So I'm going to mostly just be vacationing <laughs> while the mole rat works. Yeah. I'm going to be hanging out with my warthog and mm -hmm. uh, my mule. That won't be suspicious. And then when, the, when he's done with the work, we go and we take the money. We're not even going to leave the Caymans. <laughs> We're going to stay gonna there. Still be there. Yeah. It's a lovely place, clear blue ocean. Also, yeah. everybody yeah. there is like, well, it's obviously not the warthog mule guy. Like, yeah. Everybody loves that guy. He yeah. came yeah. out of nowhere. Bar with the, yeah. the that guy hasn't the left the tiki. He was at, I'm going to be at the tiki bar when the mule's carrying the money out. That's why it <laughs> couldn't have been you. Yeah. yeah. Through the four inch hole that the mole made. <laughs> All right, quick sidebar, ra rapid fire forest. When they make this animated movie of your bank heist, who are going to be the voices of the three animals? Well, oh every small fluffy animal has to be voiced by Kevin Hart. I think that got passed in <laughs> okay. Hollywood recently. So he's the hamster. Yeah, so he's the hamster. Wow. Um, the octopus is very sleuthy. Uh, he is going to be voiced by Puss in Boots. What's his name? Oh, uh, Antonio Banderas. And Banderas, yeah. yeah. The octopus That's is good. Banderas. That's and fun. The, the dog is like a nice... He's like a mill. He, you know what? It's Channing Tatum. Just like standard leading man. Standard American sure. leading man. Yeah. I get that. Yep. Uh, my cheetah is going to be funny, comical cheetah. It's going to be Eddie Murphy. Uh, my, Great. My, uh, my peregrine falcon is not going to have too much to say as he just swoops in. Although I guess he could. <laughs> it's going to be Whoopi Goldberg. Wow. Uh, this is a lineup. Yeah. And my, uh, my sheep, his, this movie came out in 1986. Obviously. My, it's my, when he went back in time. My to sheep is going to be concert. Chris Rock. <laughs> Total. Okay. <laughs> I mean, he is great. Those are great. Eddie Murphy. That's a good lineup. That's a good lineup. I think, do Chris Rock and Eddie Murphy hate each other, though? Isn't they do. Isn't that a thing? I don't, I never heard of it. I might be mixing up the wrong comedian. Schedule two different days for the sound booth. That's I know true. Will Smith yeah. hates Chris Rock. That might be what I'm thinking about. Yeah. I'm going to go, yeah. uh, see, Naked Mole Rat, so ugly, so hideous <laughs> with those teeth. Yeah. I'm going to go the opposite, and I'm going to go very sexy okay. with its voice. Interesting. Jennifer Lawrence. She has that raspy yep. kind of sexy voice. Yep. I'm a, a sexy mole rat. It's going to be fun. It's That's gonna be, fun. It's, good. it's different. Go against type, right? Yep. Yep. Um, my mule is sort of going to be my leading man. Okay. And so I, you want someone standard, right? Leading men are rarely, they're, they're usually just kind of down the middle dudes. Right. It's not an archetype. Right. Yeah. yeah they're just kind of down look. the middle dudes. I want the blandest Chris Pine. That's Chris Pine. That might be more bland than Chang Tate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then um, what was my other animal? Oh, my warthog. <laughs> yeah. Warthog's ob. Ob the comic relief. Also, we'll have a romantic interlude with the mole rat <laughs> in my film. Uh, Filthy. The warthog is going to be comic relief. You know who I think's really underrated funny? Who's that? Charles Grodin. Who's Charles Grodin? I'm dating myself here. I don't know who that is. Dude, Charles Grodin. He was the guy in like Clifford. Oh, yeah. He's hilarious. Oh, yeah. He is yeah, so yeah, yeah. goddamn funny. funny. Yeah. 
That's, Taking care of business. Yep. Yeah, he's great. That's a weird pick, but I like it. I just think he's hilarious. Yeah. Comic relief. And also, you guys already took Kevin Hart, Chris Rock, and uh, <laughs> right. Eddie Murphy. Right. took all the so. exactly. people yeah. who do voice animation. Yeah, exactly. Already. Yeah, yeah um, buddy. Nice for, nice for you to bring a woman into the mix, too. I brought uh, Whoopi I, in. I meant Women to can rob banks, too. I had Whoopi. Oh, you did have Whoopi. That's she's, true. She's yeah, you're the only the, sexist. I was the only sexist in the group, yeah. Chauvinist pig. Yeah, pig. I realize that. That Sasha. beard's changed you. <laughs> <laughs> I say more primal. Um, Charles Grodin. What do we have any? Uh, so, uh, what do you guys? What's in the news, man? Is there anything going what's on in the news? Charles <laughs> 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 Rolston news, news Grodin. What's in the news? <laughs> what has been in the news, man? What kind of shit's going on? It's hard. To, You're the news guy. You stay <sighs> up on this. People DM you. You don't. It's true. Them. They do. Well, there was a wolf that escaped from, from a zoo. Where? That's scary stuff. That's scary. You're living in Ohio. Stuff. You're in Dayton, Ohio. You decide to take your cat out for a walk because your name is Jesse Kalazi and you put your cat on a leash. <laughs> that's why our editor uh, that walks his cat. And uh, you go out for a walk and you go, wow, that's a mighty big dog. Oh, wait a minute. That looks like a coyote. Oh, no. This is a fully habituated gray wolf that is running at me at 40 miles an hour because it's escaped Yikes. from the zoo. You don't. So this is actually Cleveland. I've been to Cleveland. I've, it's a city. Yeah, it's, it's a, a city. city. Urban. You do not expect to see a full-sized wolf right. ambling down the street. Yep. What's your first move for us when you see this wolf that's coming at you with your cat on a leash? With a cat. <laughs> well, I don't really like cats, so th- use the cat as a weapon <laughs> oh, on the God. leash. <laughs> a packet full of C4. <laughs> Send it right at the wolf. <laughs> uh, I mean, so is one wolf really that dangerous? I mean... Yes, if it wants to be, but I think in this case, they recaptured it very shortly after the escape, so mm-hmm. it wasn't that big of a deal, right. but regardless, I just, like, the idea of a wolf running around, even just the city yeah. itself, you know, like, or not even the city, sorry, the zoo itself, right. like, being out of the enclosure, I don't know. So, how, I mean, we've all been to plenty of zoos, we've seen wolves in the enclosure, yep. enclosure. just saw them in Mexico City, Lobo. Lobo. Is, is the Spanish word for wolf. See? Lobo. Uh, Lobo. I learned something new every day on this uh, podcast. Uh, how do you suspect the wolf got out? I don't Pick know. The I'm lock. actually, I'm curious if Kyle it says just it. clicked on the article and it's defunct. Oops. Um, <laughs> oh, they retracted it. So let's just speculate. Okay. How's a wolf get out of its enclosure at the zoo? I'm going to guess there was a transfer taking place where they mm. were moving it from area to area. And they all have the double doors in the zoos where you go in, close one door behind you, then open the next one, you know, and that way you can separate from the animals. You guys know what I'm talking about? Like, of course. Yeah, go to like yeah, a yeah. butterfly exhibit, they do that. Yeah, it's like a double yeah, hatch to, to make sure nothing Jimmy, gets out. Jimmy, the new intern at the zoo, <laughs> who gets paid $12 an hour because that's that's the sad reality of being someone that cares about animals or, or kids, left the door open. <laughs> he was underqualified. It, it's prob- it's got to be a human error. It's probably not, an inc- probably not a super-powered wolf that jumped out. That would be cooler, but no. Yeah. I imagine it's human error. I'm definitely thinking if I see this wolf in an urban area, like like werewolf. That's my immediate <laughs> my immediate <laughs> thought. at night, yeah. <laughs> Full moon. <laughs> Full moon. <laughs> I'm running. Like a skinwalker werewolf, dude. Yeah, it's, uh, I don't know, a wolf. Not as scary as something that it could have been, right? Like you True. hear about an escaped tiger, which True. I feel like oh, once yeah. every two years. That happens. <laughs> I know. Yeah. yeah. But it's because from someone's house. No, but the thing with the, the escape tiger thing that you always see in the news is it's like one day Bubbles the tiger decided to leap out of its pen. Right. And you're like, wait, wait a minute. <laughs> Bubbles could have done this any time in the last seven years of his life. Right, but right. instead he just woke up today and went, yeah, fuck it. Yeah. And, and that's like how it always seems to be yeah. when you read the escape right. tiger thing. Right. It's like nothing changed. He just decided to climb out that day. It's, yeah. it's that thing where, you know, it takes forever to, to do it, like the 980 or whatever Tony Hawk did on the skateboard. Nobody could do like a 980 or whatever. And then it took forever, forever, forever. Did it? Now, now can just do it. Can it. just do it. Now kids are doing it at the skate park. Yeah, no problems. Exactly. Yeah, that's really interesting. Um, I saw something else that I thought was fascinating. I hope okay. it was an alien. Peter and I, just before you got here, I was saying my kid has like a little cold mm-hmm. and he was like, oh, it's, you know, guy here, kids get sick constantly. And I, and I was like, man, it just kind of sucks that we, we like won the lottery by like life finding this habitable planet with water. Right. Humans grew into this thing that are capable of so much fun and joy. Yep. But yet we have to deal with these fucking germs. With yeah. a cold. 
Yep. Just things that just make your experience less good. True. Mm -hmm. It sucks. It does. sucks. Did you know Ooh. that scientists this week unveiled that they have found evidence of a dinosaur that had a common house cold? No way. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Fuck. That's a 150 year old fossil, 150 million year old fossil evidence. Wow. That shows that a dinosaur was battling a respiratory infection. Huh. Dino uh, cough. Yeah. Dino cough. Dino COVID. <laughs> um, yeah, dino COVID. Kyle, how did they find out that it had the cold? Turn up your fucking mic. <laughs> yeah, it Jesus, said that, Pat. It said, it said that the fossil bone uh, <laughs> had lesions at spots where the air sacs would have intruded into the bone. Okay. Got it. Okay. Thank you, Kyle. Okay. So they, this must be the Kyle. first time that they've that they've seen this in the in the fossils. Well, you, don't, you don't think of it, right? And I'll I'll, yeah, I'll tell you what, what I mean by that. I've kept reptiles my whole life. Okay, you're one of those creepy weird people that you yeah. always talk yeah, about. Yeah. Have you seen my beard? <laughs> um, I've kept reptiles my whole life. Okay, they'll go through a day or two where they they don't you know like oh my my turtle didn't eat today that's weird oh, my lizard didn't want to get out of his cave today but you don't think oh the lizard has a cold. You don't think, oh, yeah. he's got a cough. There's something wrong here. You just yeah. go, hey, he's not feeling good today. And because they're reptiles and they're like insane at recovering, the yeah. next day they're like back to normal. Sure. Yeah. So, Is there anything to be learned, like uh, taken from that? Can we can we get their super ability to heal quicker? Dude, we we need that. We yeah. need. That's why we study axolotls. You know what an axolotl is? No. Oh, pull it up, Kyle. You remember, you, you'll remember this. Yeah, it's the lizard that... Re, or oh, amphibian, yeah. This right? guy. Yeah, yeah. You can cut any part of his body off outside of his brain, basically. Yeah. And he lives and regrows it. That's crazy. His legs, his feet, his tail, his gills, an eye. Yeah. The jaw. His crazy little uh, tentacle things that are on the back of his Why? head. Why Those are, are we gills? Studdling? Like, uh. we should be studying these axolotls. That should be the main thing that all the money goes to. <laughs> right. Like, yeah. here's all the money to figure out how they're doing it. Make it for everybody else. Dude, if you could cut, uh, if they were like, hey, we figured it out. It's just this vitamin you take. And if you cut off an arm, it grows back. Yeah. <laughs> how quickly are people just lopping their arms off as jokes, <laughs> pranks? Dude, it's. it's hey, honey. <laughs> my hand. Just kidding. It's fine. I got another Take one. an axolotl pill. Yeah, feed ah. it to the dog. Yeah. Instead of like a... Like feed a... it to the dog. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I forgot to hit Walmart and pick up yeah. some pedigree yeah. today. I'm going to just cut Here's, my foot off. Here's and a like nice juicy fluffy. cock for you, Fluffy. <laughs> oh, God. Um, Would sorry. you risk a cock cut? Fuck no. No. Are you kidding um, me? I don't so like cutting my toenails. Yeah, it might yeah. go back to form. <laughs> um, but this is actually really interesting. So they, I think they may have just figured this shit out. But basically, they're saying that, uh, so this Dolly was this dinosaur with the cold okay. found in Montana, okay. 20 years old at the time of her death. Was okay. that a given name, you think? <laughs> yeah, that was, <laughs> that was her nickname. 18 meter long Diplodocus. So we're talking What's close to 60 Diplodocus? Feet. Can we see what yeah. a Diplodocus looks like? <laughs> Diplodocus. Okay, yeah, so it's one of the uh -huh. long necks. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, like, yeah. It's brontosaurus. Yeah, like a brontosaurus. Don't troll us in the comments. Yeah, I was gonna say we're gonna get in so much trouble. What we used to, what we grew up with, as a brontosaurus. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Everything with a long neck and tail is a brontosaurus. <laughs> Every That's single correct. thing. Yeah. <laughs> but so they, the the way they were able to tell was because uh, the neck vertebrae contained air sacs which were connected to the lungs. Right, mm. oh, which is found in common birds. Okay, and so mm. they're able to tell from the fossil, obviously, that there was a problem with the air sacs. So they and, studied those air sacs. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Which I didn't. I, I never knew that. I didn't know the birds had that either. Hmm. But they could see these like lesions or something that caused yeah textured bumps. So it's, it's that funny. Was, I uh, when I did one of my Joe Rogan podcasts, you know, he loves all this like weird animal conspiracy crypto like he loves it <laughs> and so i was like hey joe have you ever heard the story of like why there's no like the dinosaur or sorry dragons are real he's like uh -huh. no <laughs> have you guys seen this floating no, around no, it's, but i'm it's, interested for it's sure. doing kyle you can find it it's like it's like viral right now and i don't know why because this was like 15 years ago maybe because of no, house of really. dragons like five years ago but um so yeah there it is so it's going how many views does that have kyle does it say it doesn't really matter, but it's like totally viral on TikTok and stuff now. And so I explained to Joe, we don't need to watch it because I'll just explain the same thing right now. Yeah, it's got I, six million views on YouTube. Yeah, and it's just, it's like all over social media at the moment. People keep sending it to me. Um, and this was from 2019. And I explained to Joe, I'm like, here's, well, let me 
pose it to you guys as a question. Why? Well, first of all, Word Dragon's real. Yeah, I don't see why not. I mean, maybe they didn't fucking breathe fire, but flying well, lizards, to, to me, it's if it doesn't breathe fire, it's not a dragon, so I'm going to say no. So, <laughs> all right, let me bring this back. Fuck rain off. this back in a second here. Throughout history, across all different unconnected cultures, Mayans, Romans, English, Greek, Chinese, Southern African, Northern Africa, all these different cultures, they all have paintings, pictures, depictions of large lizards with wings. Okay. Now, whether or not they're fire breathing, untold. But how did the Mayans and the Romans in the same time period draw dragons without sure. any relation whatsoever? Okay. So now here's the theory, right? And I read this somewhere and I told it to Joe on this and it's been going viral. Like birds, in order for an animal that large to fly, it would have had to have had hollow bones. So Kyle, pull up a picture of bird bones. Just type in like bird hollow bones or bird sponge bones. So birds have, if you ever look, like if you ever bite through a chicken wing or yeah. a, a thing, it's all these spongy air pockets sure. and their bones look like that. Right, right. Well, if in order for these dragons to fly, their bones and be the size that they were depicted as, their bones right. would have had to be incredibly, incredibly light. Thus, they would have been these hollow bird bones, mm -hmm. which don't fossilize for the most part oh. because they break down so easily. Interesting. Ooh. Interesting. So there's this whole idea Ooh, that's fun. that I explain. Yeah. That I explained with Joe that's where it's like, fun. they could have been here. All these cultures said they were here at the same time period that were completely unconnected that all drew basically the same thing. Yeah. But you'd never have a fossil evidence of it mm -hmm. because their bones would have been too light and airy and they would have just decomposed. Not only do I think it's interesting, I'm a hundred percent convinced there are dragons. <laughs> that's all it took. That is all it no, took. I, yeah. This is this this parallels the you know the uh, the ancient astronaut theory of like aliens where they have depictions of uh, Martians you know, Martians and aliens and flying crafts and completely different ends of the earth from back in an area where there's no way these people could communicate or have contact you know and then uh, but they have these almost exactly the same depictions of it and it's fucking wild but i've always thought you know well for many years i was like it's fact there's there's no way this could happen but then i started as as i became older i was like isn't it possible that just humans have kind of this weird archetype in their in their heads where they draw this as like artwork that doesn't because we do it today you create art that doesn't really exist it's just like a crazy dragon True, or whatever if, right but you know? what's the what is the likelihood of that being coincidental across all cultures without connection yeah i mean that's the why question why would everybody draw a giant flying lizard with wings in the same sort of 150 year time period without ever talking to each other. Yeah. Of all the things you could draw, you could draw <laughs> a flower with wings. You could draw a, <laughs> that thing. You could draw what we yeah. turned wolves into. Wait, yeah. do pterodactyls likely. have hollow bones? No. Um, no, they didn't. And they're, well, maybe they did. I don't know. Kyle, look that up. Do pterodactyls have hollow bones? Um, Oh, look who spelled pterodactyl correctly. I, know. I do that wrong every single time. There's another quick question before he pulls it up. I like that the third Google search is, did pterodactyls go extinct? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so did pterodactyls have feathers or was it just like dinosaur skin as we traditionally know it? Like uh, yeah. They were, no, they... they like most dinosaurs, they had small... I'm going to get lit up for saying any of this because I don't know what I'm talking about, but I'm pretty sure Dis like most yeah. dinosaurs, they did have small amounts of... <laughs> Disclaimer, like you're not a dinosaur expert. Correct. So. But hold on. I want to go back to something, if we can. Well, so, just real quickly. Oh, pterodactyls, yeah, the wing bones were hollow. There were hollow tubes. The walls of the bones, no thicker than a playing card. Wow. wow. That's crazy. That is fucking nuts. And, and how big were they? The, the bird. Dude, some uh, of the largest pterosaurs were massive. I've been yeah. watching that prehistoric planet over and over. I don't remember the name of the largest pterosaur, but they're like, it's like 30 feet wingspan. Fucking wild, dude. Um, okay, you gave me an idea for another game. Can we move on from what's in the news? Sure. I know we only did a couple, but I got an idea for yeah, another absolutely. game. Absolutely, yeah. Okay, yeah. ready? One, Top two, three in yeah. yeah. DFL. That's fucking wow. wild. Here we go. Movie Aliens. Hollywood Aliens. Oh my God, I... Can't don't even know if I can name four. Oh, I got I I can go first then. Yeah, go okay, for it. Go for okay. it. Take, take the four lowest hanging fruits. Yeah, sure, with yeah. pleasure. Okay, uh, top three coming in at third. Predator. Yeah, oh, that's yeah, real good. That's a good one. It's that, fantastic. That's, that's it's good. great. It's scary. It, it's it's iconic. Love Predator. 
Also, if the aliens land, that's what you don't want. Correct. <laughs> yeah. No Correct. shit. Correct. Yeah. yeah. Um, number two, uh, man, I just blanked on the movie right now. It's that movie where they do all the uh, contact. No. The movie where they do all the numbers and the time arrival. Not si- arrival. Arrival. Yeah. The aliens in Arrival. They're like big, like Can octopus. Can you pull those things up? Arrival octopus. Aliens? Yeah, yeah, Kyle, this is fun. We're really Actually, working, Kyle, them. today. Um, uh, arrival aliens. They look like that. Oh, yeah. yeah. They're super fun. They're weird. They, they're intelligent. There, there's a, uh, in Super to Metroid, the Super Nintendo game, there's a uh, boss that looks like this. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Yeah. The, right. and, and they were, like, friendly. They were trying to help humans. Sort of. Oh, I, yeah. I, I remember really liking the movie. I do need to I watch it. it again. I loved but, it. But, yeah, Predator in 3, this guy in number 2, number 1, hands down, easy, easiest choice. There will not ever be a competitor. The aliens from Mars Attacks. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, just fantastic. Like, look at these critters. Ah, yes. That it's is so the good. that that's, is the pinnacle it's just of Hollywood aliens, and that's what you want. It's a skull it's with a brain in, in a clear glass bulb. It's it's beautiful. It's fantastic. Yes. And DFL. Um, what's that? What's your DFL? DFL is that movie that we watched when we were kids, where uh, it's it's the Back to the Future guy. What's his name? Back to the Future. Do, uh, Doc. Doc. What's Doc? Doc? Look uh, up the actor Doc's name. The hell's Cr- name? Christopher Lloyd. Yeah. Christopher Lloyd as an alien. Look that up real quick. <laughs> Um, sorry, <laughs> I, I should know the this. name of it. Um, alien movie. There you go. Let's see. My favorite my Martian. Favorite Martian. Oh, my okay. God. Oh, yeah. He was just like a weird pervert human. It's just Christopher Lloyd with an antenna on his head. No, no, no. That's not it. It's that. Yeah, that's it's it. that. That it's was that. it. It was the most. <laughs> it was it's, so unattempted. He and just has a TV antenna out of his head. He just literally got two TV <laughs> antennas from the 90s glued to the back of his head. And I mean, he's a good dude. Like <laughs> I yeah. know Christopher Lloyd. He works out of my gym. I, I know his wife really well. I went, once pulled a rattlesnake out of oh, the yeah, kitchen. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You mentioned that. And, uh, and he's a super cool dude. I don't want him to be upset, but that is the weakest that's attempt. The that's not his decision. Can we just have that all be our DFL? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's so bad. All right. My favorite Martian, the alien, DFL. Let me let me give it. Let me try this, and I'm going to add TV aliens as Anything. well. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, I'll go number three. I, I'm going to say that I like just the um, the OG uh, fucking E.T. alien. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah, a that's standard a standard alien. Yeah, yeah. look at I that. Mean, it's fantastic. It's like a, it's a wise, he's a wise alien. He's yep. not like a fighter. He's just a little dumpy. Like, <laughs> he's super dumpy. Like he's dumpy. <laughs> like Buddha. <laughs> look, he's super dumpy. He's definitely not a fighter either, but he has some magical powers. <laughs> All right, so uh, number two. I'm going into the TV world. I'm going. I'm going. Elf. Oh, I, just, Elf was almost my number one. It's just so ridiculous. It's so like when you say alien, no, you, you would never it. come That's up it. with that. It, it's like furry. It looks yeah. like a, a domesticated so house good. pet. And he was hilarious, dude. I'll tell you a quick Elf sidebar. Oh, same after you. I watched <laughs> every yes. episode of Elf as a kid. Yeah. And I moved to L.A. with my buddy. We got in his 91 Plymouth Acclaim and drove across country. <laughs> got to L.A. Big Hollywood dreams, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're fucking hungry. We have no money. We go and <laughs> sit down at the Burger King on La Brea and fucking Sunset. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Not a place you want to be. No. That's no. not great. And the dad from Elf. No way. Is sitting, eating a silent meal. <laughs> With a male, what appeared to be a male prostitute wearing a jean jacket and no shirt. No way. I don't want to slander anybody. It's just what it appeared to be. Right. right. It was. And it was just quiet and silent and like the neon lights are buzzing and crackling and it's just this horrific <laughs> scene. And he's like eating a Whopper. And I was like, wait, this guy's like a big Hollywood star. I right. thought. What are you doing? This guy here? was on a sitcom for, t- is this what it gets you? <laughs> This is where we end up. Let me let me just uh, you go next, but this is relevant to that. So I was just reading. He passed away recently. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, and the um, actor of Elf or the dad of Elf. The dad. The dad. The dad who kept Elf as a pet. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. So uh, evidently, I read a whole article on it. He hated the show. He hated filming it. He said it was so difficult. To do it with with the puppet Elf on there, <laughs> and it was like he, he was basically depressed the whole time, miserable. And I mean, that's that's what you, the price you pay. Uh, here, here's 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 my thing. You're making thirty grand a week to show up on set and sling jokes and talk to a puppet. Ca- every check you cash, you, do, why, why are you 
depressed about this. You got this. nothing nothing to complain well, I'm not, about. I'm not saying, I mean, who knows? I mean, but I'm just saying off of, you know, based off of what you said, it, it evidently <laughs> yeah. it's true. No, it makes sense. Yeah. All right, so apparently we all have a sidebar about Elf, but um, <laughs> it's pretty my wife weird. is not scared of anything. You guys know Jess. I mean, yeah. you've been in the field. Yeah. Yet. She'll go pick up a spider if there's a scorpion. I mean, Kyle, you've seen it. She'll just be like, get out of here. Barking dog, nothing. When we were like... I'd known her a long time. When we were like 24 years old, I was scrolling through the old cable and saw Elf came on TV, threw it on. She was like looking at her phone or reading a book or something. <laughs> she panicked. She had a full on panic. She is scared of Elf. It's the, oh, I swear to God, it is Weird. the only thing I have ever seen her scared of. If I put a picture of Elf on my phone, <laughs> she'll swat the phone out of my hand. She you know, hates it. His she snout? has like a visceral yeah. fear of that thing, it's which I think snout, is hilarious. Yeah. It's the snout. The I snout she, is weird. No, it's something must have happened to her when she was a exactly. baby or a toddler. Yeah. You think so? Well, Elf was on the TV. Must yeah. be. That's what. That's my explanation. hundred percent. But, but I've taken it upon myself now to almost every April 1st do something with Elf God. around the house. Yeah, that's smart. And she hates it. Yeah, your wife, Dude, I mean, I don't know how get, she puts up with you. Can we do a podcast alive in person where we bring in a hypnotist and have Jess go under hypnosis get to get to it. the bottom of this elf here? <laughs> it's a really good idea. <laughs> I think we should. It's a really good idea. I agree. 100%. I think we can. No, she literally is terrified of that. And it's very weird because like yeah. she's not that kind of girl that's like prissy and like putting it on. She's yeah, just like, not get at all. the fuck away from me. Like, yep. she's like, just don't show me elf. I mean, the more yeah. I kind of stare at him, uh, the more it's like... I Pretty love fucking him. weird looking. I love him. Well, yeah, he's that's an alien. Now just like anyway, an elephant. Sorry, worm. Right, we totally dog like. Fella. So that's okay. three and two. Uh, so, so I'm gonna go number one. Uh, I believe they're killer clowns from Mars. Something to that effect. I can't remember. They're clowns from outer space. And killer they're clowns just, from outer space. Just, they're just awesome. I mean, come on, look at these. Oh, I've seen this movie. It's oh, I've never ridiculous. Seen this. It's actually pretty good. Really? Yeah. It's like a decent watch. I'm very silly. Good year. Listen, if, the one, if these things came down to earth, you know, I, and took over, I wouldn't be that bummed. I, I'd be fine with it. Killer clowns for I, I think the plot the of the movie game. is that it's Halloween when they land. Ah. And so everyone thinks these are just like dope ass costumes. That's like yeah. every yeah. spooky, right? Yeah. It happens to be Halloween whenever anything. They're just mm -hmm. aliens yeah. that think they can blend in by dressing up like clowns. And then they kill everyone. That's pretty yeah. good, by the way. It reminds me of the Space Jam aliens. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. Like that image right there, Kyle, don't change it. Hold on, don't change it. Open another tab <laughs> and type in Space Jam Aliens. Kyle is working hard today. That's fine. It's good he's for getting, him. He's going to get finger cramps. Where? Yeah. Let go, let, now go back to that other one. That is a ripoff right there. No, 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 no. You it lost feels, it. It feels loosely inspired by Yeah. Look at I this. Look at this. Yeah, I could look see Look at it. this. Yeah, look at this. There's the true. fat one, the tall, skinny one, the spiky haired one. Yeah, they're that just kind of less scary. Is there four of each? Four of each? Yeah. This is some nonsense. All right, what's your DFL? DFL, I'm going Mork from Mork and Mindy. It's again, yeah. the same reason. I don't even think he has antennas. He's just a human in a space suit. Uh, yeah, he's so. like a dumb human. Yeah. yeah. Like they made the alien dumb. Right, <laughs> right. Hilarious, though. Yeah. But dumb. yeah. That's, my, a, that's a pretty good poll. My number one is Marvin the Martian. Okay. Um, He's he's top. Yeah, because yeah, it's, it's great. It's kind of what you want. He's hilarious. He's mean and he's sarcastic. <laughs> yeah. He yeah. is mean. Yeah. He's yeah. pretty yeah. shitty. But as, he's not like here to destroy Earth. No. Well, he's, that's kind of his whole purpose, isn't it? Uh, yeah, but he never does it. No, he's, kinda, he's pretty, pretty. It's kind of what you want. He's inept. Yeah. Um, I would say the alien from uh, what's the movie where the guy gets abducted? It's the real story of that guy, Travis, whatever, uh, and he gets beamed third, up. Third, something of the... Th no, not, of the not third, Close Encounters close of the Third Kind. Of the third kind. Oh, it's a great movie. Um, it's like a, the true story, supposedly, of this guy, Travis, something who really got abducted. Uh, I think he's been on Rogan before. Oh, really? Yeah. What All the right, fuck well, is let's... What what, Travis Walton? Yeah, there was a movie about him. So, but anyway, it's <clears throat> they show the abduction and his memory of it. And it's fire the, in the oh, sky. Fire, fire in the sky. sky. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Classic big head, big eye alien. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like a gray. Probing alien. the anus, which yeah. is, if you're going to get abducted by an alien, that's what you want. Oh, well, God. I want to see this alien. Oh, there okay. It is. Okay, that's nice. That's a good one. Yeah. That's, that's like nice. the one that where they that fake. Is... Yeah. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. That's the one where like we used to watch. They faked a video of it on the operating table that looks super real. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, By that the way, exactly. let's pull that up at the end of this. If, sure. If you that see is some your real 
generic shit. alien though. Right yes, there. yeah, totally. And when it gives you, you the that. little butt probe, the little like that's nice. That's what you want. If I'm getting abducted, <laughs> yeah. I better get a probe. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, touch that little prostate. Mm. <laughs> yeah, and then All number right. three, obviously, I'm just gonna take it. Alien. Yeah, from the uh, movie I was Alien. wondering if anybody was going to say Alien. Yeah, because I couldn't think of any other ones. Yeah. But I mean, yeah. it's badass. <clears throat> it's very terrifying. So scary. It's got like sort of insecty elements. It's yeah. got human elements. The inner mouth thing. The yeah. Little, little baby mouth. Did yeah. you tell the story about what it was made after that one time on air? Do you know what? The, I forget. It, we were talking about what, what inspired yeah, it. what inspired it. I can't I remember. so. Yeah, but wait, we got to hear Pat's DFL, yeah, yeah, and, yeah, and sure. then I want to hear what inspired it, or look up what inspired Alien. All right, I'm going to change mine. Marvin the Martian's now my DFL. My <laughs> number one, my number one. And by the way, most people haven't seen this movie. It's awesome. Okay. So at, at the same time that that movie Gravity came out, yeah. the yep. one that like won the Oscar, yeah, yeah, yeah. which I found to be unwatchable. Boring, <laughs> yeah. Uh, a movie came out called Europa Report. Uh, I, mean, I remember the name. It's so good. It's about the, yeah, there we go. Ugh, fuck. When I give up what the alien is, it's going to spoil it. <laughs> Spoiler That's alert. That's all right. Just go for it. It's, Your mouth. The, 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 the aliens in the end are octopus. Actually, oh. like big, scary looking oh, octopus. Because yeah. Europa, Europa, they they do think that that's like the moon. One of it's, the moons it's from one of the planets in our solar system's moon. moon. One of the moons, yeah. and it's like they it's, think there's fresh it's water. All there. Water, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like made of uh, water. It's a I dope it. movie. Really I'm gonna good. Watch it. Yeah, I'm gonna watch it. Blows gravity out of the see, water. If, uh, real quick, uh, and we can continue okay. on. But see if you can find a. Uh, oh wow. See if you can find a video of the, the an alien autopsy, gray alien autopsy. Yeah, these... It, and by the way, bro, so if you're listening to this, I know we're doing a very visually heavy episode here. You, you, If you're listening, come check this out on YouTube. And maybe leave us a comment who your top cinema alien is. Because yeah, that's I, it. I'm very surprised nobody here chose Yoda. There wasn't a single Yoda. No Yoda. Called out. Uh, no Star Trek characters. No, no, not yeah. a, no Spocks. Nothing. No Spock. So, yeah, let us know. I'm curious what other people think. I mean, to me, it's pretty obviously the best alien yeah. ever was. So, Mars in 1995, Mars someone made a film yeah. about an alien autopsy. Okay. And, like, brilliantly somehow, like, leaked some of the footage. Yeah. And there, the what he has pulled up here, C, the CIA, people at the CIA thought it was real. Oh, yeah. wow. Is uh, how, is how convincing the video it was. And what, what, what was it? It was the video. dummy from that movie? Yeah, it was go. just whatever like special effects. I don't know what they used to, to create this so-called yeah, alien autopsy. A bit till we can but, see uh, it. this is interesting. It's really incredible. This faked footage. Well, it just goes to show how much I think we all want aliens to be real. Yeah, is it harder to do something like this today with yes. modern tech? But but you're saying yes. But uh, think of all the resources we have now. Here like, it you is. You can make CGI aliens and. Is it harder to fake yeah. this shit Look today at this. or easier? It's it's way harder because because of social media and YouTube and the fact that everyone can get stuff out. Mm. We expect that everything's a hoax. It's fake. Yeah. That's a good point. <clears throat> but come on, look at everyone this. Everyone expects really when good. this came out, fake. like it's you, really good. You dude, like a like an injured alien the that belly, was in a crash. The, the ripped up leg. That's like, oh yeah, that makes sense. That's how he died. He bled out. So me yeah. and Pat would get together at least once a weekend and just get hammered and watch this video and talk <laughs> about how aliens are definitely real. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Wild though. Wild times. Well, that was fun, gentlemen. Real fun. I think it's been a good one. I think it's been nice. fun. I like, doing, I like doing it. A lot of games. Yeah. Early. Some news. Yeah, yeah I'm going to have a coffee after this. That's good. What's Bailey's it is. No, it's like... I'm going to have a coffee with Bailey's on it. Do you have Bailey's? Uh, maybe. Do you have Kahlua? Postmates, boy. Let's check. Postmates. I'll just want one like hotel one fridge shot. Bailey's. Just bring me one of the mini hotel <laughs> fridge Bailey's. It's like a dollar. That'll be thirty-seven dollars. Right. Yeah, exactly. In delivery fee. Yeah. Yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, it's been fun though. I love, man. It's so much better when we get together. If you guys love when we get better together, when we're let us know. Together. And if you're new to the podcast, yeah, watch the other 104. <clears throat> we also do four <laughs> bonus podcasts yep. every single month. That's right. Available on the Patreon. Let's, That's how do, and how do you can go to www.thewildtimes.club. Nope. Yep. Slash. Nope. 
Nope, nope. Penis. Don't listen to that. <laughs> don't listen to any of that. Oh, Go Lord. to wildtimes.club forward slash info to get to all the links I'm to so everything close. we got. To get directly to the Patreon, go to patreon.com wild time wild times pod. So patreon.com forward slash wild times pod. Wild times pod on all social medias. And be sure to check out our Bromunity forum, which is Bromunity. Dot wildtimes so much dot club, but really to get to all these links, just go to the wildtimes dot club forward yeah, slash. If you info. made it this far into the ending, comment Charlie is a thylacine because I don't believe anybody <laughs> actually listened this far, and that's very specific. Yeah, if comment, we ever make the uh, I'm a moho yeah. underpants, yeah, yeah, you'll win them. Someone will win them. That's right. Comment Charlie is end. a thylacine now to prove that you listened to that rant. Oh, we're still waiting to get information from one more contest winner on more. the blobfish, uh, the blobfish thing. The other two I sent out. So uh, hit us up if you won that contest for the blobfish looking on Instagram. Love you guys. We love you guys. The boxing. He hasn't started drinking yet. That's why he's so annoying. (laughs) I hate you both.